to the Popish Pot. I'm Jessica. It's another episode of the Summer Book Club. Today's episode is entitled Bacon and Booze. Now, if you've been following along in the Summer Book Club, there are a number of us YouTubers who are all reading the same book. And down below in the description, I'll have links to everyone else's episodes on this chapter so you can get their thoughts on it. Now, two things before we start. One, I'm doing this on my phone versus my camera because my camera went and decided to go and not record everything I just did yesterday correctly and so I'm doing this last minute to get it in on time. And two, this chapter is on dieting. Now, I'm not going to pretty much talk anything about how she did this chapter because she starts out talking about how she's not going to go and tell you any particular program to follow and then she proceeds to pretty much follow the standard American diet and the standard American diet advice of if you just eat less calories you'll lose weight because calories in equals calories out and there's no you know hormones or chemicals in your body or minute processes that affect how much you actually you know use different foods and so forth and suggesting that you get rid of anything that has high calories so the reason why this episode is called bacon and booze is because of course you should get rid of things that have fat and alcohol because they have more calories than other things and therefore it must inherently be worse for you. And I don't follow this diet advice at all. Um, she starts out her story with a friend who, who is following a major diet program. She doesn't name which one, but they're all very similar. And I have numerous friends who are also on various diet programs. And every time I see them and we're eating out or going someplace, I feel sad for them because they're sad and they're frustrated. And they're either nibbling on the smallest, most blandest, boringest thing to go and not go over their calories today, or they're completely giving up and just eating whatever they want, which is why most diets have a 99% failure rate, as most common dieting advice is simply eat less calories for a long period of time and then you will be thinner, when Science has shown that eating less calories for a long period of time results in your body using the calories it gets more efficiently so that when you give up on your diet and eat the same amount you did before, you gain even more weight than you started out with. So before I do my look through the fridge and other stuff, I, I just want to say that I didn't bother putting up fake labels or taping all the other labels up. So I'm not, you know, advertising any of these brands. I did not get kickbacks from any of these brands. This is just what currently happens to be in my fridge at this moment. Also, uh, I'm going to go in the description and put a couple of information on books that I found helpful in the actual learning the complex science of either on how your body uses different foods or how the process of determining what you're told to eat for the most part was done in completely non-scientific ways. Now, I will say, because everyone liked when I did the eye roll for my doctor on the episode on Monday, that she also tends to follow the mainstream ideas of these things, which was a wonderful idea in a theory when it first came out when our grandparents were young, but has failed scientific study after scientific study, and therefore why people still follow it is largely politics and the inability to say that we were horribly wrong and you're not going to die the second you eat a piece of butter and other such things. So. I happen to follow a extremely low carb diet which has high fat and moderate protein called a ketogenic diet. There are variations that are not quite as strict as mine. If you go through all the links below, I know some of them do things like whole foods or they do a largely natural plant-based diet which is going to have a lot more carbs than I eat but very similar foods for the most part, excluding the fact that I won't eat grains and they'll eat whole grains versus, you know, processed stuff. So, anyway, um, if you follow the Popish Plot on Facebook, starting, what will be yesterday when I post this, I did a list of what I actually eat during the day, because although I labeled this bacon and booze, and in my first one, I had two pounds of bacon sitting out on the table, along with some guacamole, because everyone agrees that guacamole is great, and avocados have a good fat, and various decanters of booze because I told a friend that I was going to label it the bacon and booze diet simply because you can eat those. I have friends who followed similar diets where they'll take a picture of their glass of scotch on the rocks and be like this is my snack for my diet 
and they've lost lots of weight doing it. Anyway, as it is not a fermentation Friday and I'm holding a selfie cam, I will not be drinking on the show. And as I filmed yesterday and put two pounds of fried bacon up in the fridge, and therefore everyone had tiny bits of it for snacks, and oh, I'm going to the fridge, I'm going to have a bit anyway, and I had it on my salad today, and I put it in something I think for dinner last night, it, it's pretty much gone. So I don't have either one of those things, which is why I said, you know what, I'm just going to go and point out what's in my fridge. It's a dieting thing, I'll talk about what I actually eat. All right, so first thing you'll notice is I did go shopping because my fridge is absolutely full. And that probably a lot of the foods in here are going to be similar to the foods in everyone else's ones who did different healthy routines, as there's a lot in common between different diets that actually work for people. Got some hard boiled eggs, got some heavy whipping cream, mayonnaise, lettuce, we went out to eat the other day, so that's some leftovers for one of the kids. Non-cooked eggs. Some leftover taco meat, because Taco Tuesday. Here's all that bacon that we stirred out with a giant heaping plate of the other day. And the guacamole underneath it. Butter. The cheese tray is filled with various cheeses. And I have extra here, because my daughter's like, why did you buy five pounds of cheese when I went to Sam's Club? And I'm like, because they didn't have 10 pounds of cheese. Got some cold slaw mix, which I'm going to use for dinner today. We have a large number of diet energy drinks because there's a special at our gas station. And we're using it to get a bunch of points. And it is one of those things that aren't particularly good for you, but we still have on occasion. More whipping cream. Unsweetened vanilla milk, because that's what Nate likes to put in his coffee, along with the coffee got whole milk for the kids and then a various sauces and extra things that everyone always has a huge fridge full our veggie drawer is of course full this is half for us and half for the guinea pigs and because it's a bit late in the week our meat drawer is mostly empty and also you can tell I have kids because I immediately after starting working on this noticed that they have spilled stuff all over the place and I need to reclean the fridge, so that will go on my to-do list tomorrow. And going down to my freezer, I always stock up on butter when it's on sale, because you can freeze it, and once you thaw it out, it's as good as just fresh. We have numerous veggies and veggie mixes. We've got some extra little coffee for emergency. If we run out of coffee, we have some spares. We have water bottles, which are frozen with water in them, because when it gets really hot, the guinea pigs can lean up against one coated in a sock and keep cool. Some fruit back there. I keep cranberries because you can only get them a few months a year and then I can slowly use them throughout the year. And then I have a thing of flour in here because as a church lady, I have to go and make cookies and other things for all the different bake sales even though everyone knows I don't eat them. And so the extra flour goes in the freezer because it's going to go bad otherwise. So that was a look through my fridge and freezer because I went and recorded a nice 15 minute length of thing and it had no sound at all and I'm sure I had it plugged in right and I'm sure it had batteries so this is what I'm doing instead. Um, go ahead and comment below with the same comment I was going to have people comment on the original video of how much bacon do you think you can eat in one sitting and until next time live your faith, love your faith, share that love.